So with modern heating equipment, pretty much everything that you're going to work with is going to be heated with gas. There's fuel oil and propane and natural gas. Those are pretty much the three main heating stuff, at least in southwest Minnesota, that I ever run into. And over the course of the day, I ran into several different kinds of igniters on a few different units. And I just wanted to go through really quick uh, the different kinds of igniters that you will commonly see. Um, pretty much there's just four different kinds. You've got your standard, like uh, standing pilots, which are on a lot of the really old boilers and that sort of thing. Basically, there's just a little tube coming up from the gas valve, and that has a flame on it all the time, which is heating a thermal couple or thermal pile, depending on if the uh, system needs that power to open the gas valve. But basically, that just is heated and producing a small amount of current that goes down to the gas valve and uh, proves that there's a flame there. So the gas valve won't open up the main valve unless it's for sure getting that little bit of voltage from the thermal couple or thermal pile to prove that there's a flame. Uh, second kind is an intermittent pilot, which is pretty much the same as a standing pilot, except for instead of it being lit all the time, it's only lit when the system needs to heat. So you'll turn on your thermostat, it gets that call for heat, it's going to light it, and there's two different ways that it can light it. Uh, one is with hot surface igniter. You turn on the hot surface igniter, which gets red hot, and light the gas going to the pilot. And once the gas is there and has proved the flame, in other words, the flame sensor is sensing that flame, then it'll open up your main valve. The other way with an intermittent pilot is uh, it'll send a spark up to light the pilot, and then open up the main valve but both ways it's just lighting that pilot before it opens the main valve and then uh, the third type is direct spark ignition which is uh, common in like modern Navion boilers a lot of those use direct spark ignition and older furnaces a lot of a lot of them from like the 80s and early 90s use direct spark ignition but basically it just has two points that are stuck over the uh, main burner and the furnace is going to open up the main burner and just spray gas through a high voltage arc that is going across those. Sometimes it's like a click, 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 click. Sometimes it's more of a bzzz. Like a fuel oil furnace has like a, a serious spark. Um, that's uh, coming from a, a really high voltage transformer, but I would consider that also <clears throat> a direct spark ignition. And then uh, the fourth kind is a hot surface igniter, which I think it's like silicon carbide. Uh, I'll just put right here what it actually is. I can't remember <laughs> the material that the igniters are made out of, but basically um, it heats up really well when you run a current through it. It gets red hot, and then when that gas hits it, it's hot enough to cause it to light. So, And that is the most common type, I'm pretty sure, is hot surface igniters, that's what is in pretty much all the furnaces that we've been installing in the last few years. I mean, that's basically the most common now. Just finished lighting the pilot on this really old boiler. You can see it has a newer gas valve though. Somebody added. Beautiful. You can see it's an intermittent pilot, but it uses a glow plug instead of a spark ignition. That's off of a smart valve right here. And we got partial ignition. There it goes. Isn't that interesting? how it didn't, didn't carry that flame all the way across. That, that can be quite dangerous. I mean, it has a flame sensor, but the flame sensor is on the pilot, so it not lighting all the way across can cause some very serious issues. So I just jumpered out the control here so that it'll bring on the heat. You 
can hear it's opening up that damper. This is on a boiler. Okay, so it's going to run spark across that pilot face in just a moment here. Oh, there it went. And then it'll open the gas valve. Light across the burners, just like that. So that is an intermittent pilot with spark ignition. It only uh, lights that pilot whenever it's gonna have heat, so it doesn't just sit there and run a pilot all the time like older boilers. And you can see this furnace here has a direct spark ignition, so it doesn't light a pilot with the spark. It it just lights. The actual burners. And you can see that's pretty big spark. You don't want to do it too long because it's squirting fuel into the burner, but let's just try that one more time. So yeah, I say there's no problem with the transformer. I don't want to get zapped by that, it's 10,000 volts. Mm -hmm. And you can see how they have the igniter positioned back there. It's actually pointed at a 45, which is kind of unique. But it's really nice, you can see you can get at these two screws really easily. Straight on from the front, so nice job engineers. That was a very nice touch. They've also done that with the flame sensor over here. You can just take out that screw and then there's a flame sensor which you can see the wire goes in and then goes up at an angle like that. That is a very nice design because we can take that out very easily. The clearance from the burner face is actually really a tight tolerance. Let's actually turn off our light here. I just heard the relay click or the igniter. It gets nice and hot. Gas valve. Here we got another one. See that igniter going red hot, and then the gas will come out. There's a moment here. And that beautifully flame propagates over to our flame sensor right over there. So anyway, hope that you find this video interesting. If you know of any other kinds of igniters, please comment them down below and I'll try to move your comments to the top or pin them because uh, I would be interested to see if there are any others. But I think that we've pretty much covered them. Talk to you later.